I have crazies around me. Uh, yesterday at Save a Lot, I check out, and while I'm in there on uh, Whipple, I check out at 2.02 p.m., okay? So you want to go a little bit before. Two guys walk in and said, uh, we told them no man was ever to touch her until we figure out what's going on. What? Are they slow or what? I mean, seriously. It's for Dave to get everything and Judge Pete, his daughter, Michelle, for the them to all help her out in, to get it. Memorial Day weekend, 2019, food counter, um, 62 Walmart. For it's my daughter, husband, dates. He met her in Ravenna when she was having a stomach spell. It's for my daughter. They did all this for uh, in our family watching her and, and doing this and for who's Karen's rich boyfriend, but the state of Ohio who protects her because everybody said I had a state. Uh, I had a rich boyfriend because I had all the legal departments following me around grabbing stalkers. Okay. They looked it up. It's Michelle's mother. She's supposed to be a young blonde girl. Dave was already trying to kill me at Lennox because he wanted everything and making it look random and it went high tech. Uh, once uh, he met Michelle. The Judge Pete's daughter, the way they're talking. First, I thought it was an agent's daughter, and she's a young blonde girl, okay? Now, <clears throat> today I was in Fishers on Cleveland Avenue. I check out at 11.14, uh, okay? They said they know they de dehumanized her, but at least the attorney got the truth out of her. You're not allowed. You're not even allowed to use it against me. There's a U.S. Supreme Court ruling, 18-10134, 11th Circuit, 2005. Electronic brain leaks, uh, remote neuromonitoring. Our U.S. government recognizes synthetic, illegal synthetic telepathic war weapons as an illegal strategy for the truth. Okay. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mind controlling chips used to silence whistleblowers. Used by perpetrators as a heinous crime. Okay? When I was in Fishers, you know I'm saying that? How retarded are they? They don't want the Constitution no more. They don't want the right to remain silent, legal representation. Then line them up and chip them. Drug them. Beat, rape, torture them. They want to be fucking retards? Then they need to go to jail. And they need to uh, participate in this. And think it's okay, let it happen to them then. Because, like they said, all their evidence was illegally obtained and cannot be used. No one came talk to me as a person. I talked to the hotline. Will called me back. It took me four days to call him back. And that idiot already told Pamer the night before. An agent had to show a badge for Pamer to, at Apostolic Church of Barberton, get so upset to get in Dave's face. My God, I had an FBI agent in my office. He's right there. Mm -hmm. They checked. He told on me. Okay. Why do you tell? Because Dave was dating Judge Pete's daughter. And they were already helping out. And he was already fentanyl me before. And I already told you where the witnesses are. And where the kids have already told everybody they were lying. They knew they were lying. They told them a lie. That's how retarded all this. Why wouldn't you chip Dave? They caught him that they have a list. And part of it is Dixie and the baby. They're going to take care of them. And they have a list of people. Huh? Why wouldn't they chip them? Hmm? Why? Because they're all part of it. To cover it up. How many more people have they chipped, beat, drugged, and extorted money out? Somebody needs to rip that courthouse apart. And those attorneys are all going to go to jail for this. Yeah, some guy walked out yesterday. They were moving out in a U-Haul. Before three. Car and Chip picked it up. I watched the video. She just wiped water off with clothes on. I know. I, I realized that, too. I knew she wasn't like that before. She just wiped off water. He said, I told these people to stop saying stuff to her. Uh-huh. Yeah, because, like, they told Mercy Medical, the only thing they got on, on 313 this year, of 21, only thing they got on you is adjusting yourself. The nurse was laughing. Lady from the agency showed up. No man was ever to touch her. Okay. Boy, they touched me. I broke, uh, they broke in and I'd hear footsteps in my room and go black and then I had marks on me and men coming up in stores. We always knew you're innocent. You tell someone you're arrested. I'm like, who are you and why are you? They leave a Steve, Eric, Kirk, Chris, and Mark, uh, a Christine around me that I never met. And that weird guy, somebody mentioned a guy named Terrence. 
and I don't even know if it's him. Some guy jumped out of the shoe aisle at Walmart. You know my name? You know my name? You don't quit praying about everything. I'm going to make you stand somewhere for eight hours, and you won't be able to pray anymore. He prayed, too, if someone tried to shoot you in the head driving. The six stalkers, a gunshot night, two men may be dead, and another one crippled, and there may be more. Yeah, and they want the truth out of me. Why don't we get the truth out of them? What the hell are they doing? None of this is funny. This onslaught, they sold a na the, the login to the nation. People from Washington, California, uh, Texas, Wyoming, Florida, North Carolina, Maryland, Georgia, Indiana, Illinois, to uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, Pennsylvania, and New York showed up. And Michigan. 20, the agents are selling the login for money. Mm -hmm. It's going for a lot at first, and then they said it's going for $25 a pop, then everybody has it. They dehumanized me. They said it was okay for them to dehumanize me. No, it's not. They want it done to them? Line them up. They want to be retards? Line them up. I told the Army yesterday about that colonel. Someone pulled in and said the colonel got in a lot of trouble. Yeah, he stole an illegal war weapon and intent to murder someone. He's probably one of another Michelle's lovers. They need to rip that uh, courthouse apart and see how many other people they've done this heinous crimes to. Because when I talked to the mayor's office and I complained about the Portage County Sheriff's not arresting Dave for everything, you know what they said? We got a lot of complaints on the Portage County Sheriff's. They are not arresting violent offenders. Why wouldn't they? Because they're part of it. There's a, probably a good chance or someone's telling them not to. Yeah, they need a, the undercover police work the case. They knew Dave beat me with internal injuries. They knew he sexually assaulted me. I didn't retaliate. Yeah, and they know about the gunshot night and him getting caught on tape of how they killed those men. And they said, none of this is funny. They're actually dead. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Someone needs to get down here. And somebody needs to do their job and arrest these people and get me out of here. None of this is funny. They need to arrest these people. They think they can do heinous crimes and they won't go to jail. Nixon couldn't bug an office. Oh, and then they try to tell people they had a court order to watch me in my house. You can't get a court order or not be police and hire. Uh-huh. Don't give it to a mama's attorney friend. And if they did, it's because it was Judge Pete's daughter. Wiping off water or clothes on is adjusting yourself. You didn't expose yourself. You're good, like they said in Rite Aid. They knew it wasn't wrong. They were trying to get me to do something wrong. And they knew that idiot I was married to came out on August 8th that he fentanyl me. And told me to say something stupid. Now, let's just a minute. I got enough technology in me and around me. Everything's bugged. And it went into the case. 8-8-18-8-8 of 21 at 8-15 to 8-30 at night. Did you know he fentanyled her and told her to say that? No, we just found out we didn't know that they already knew the kids were lying. So they thought they'd make a buck off of it. Okay? And then 8-9, the little kids in the apartment building for me. Second one close to the fence. It's funny. She figured it out. Finally figured it out. It was Dave that drugged her and told her to say it first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They all knew. I didn't know because he drugged me. It causes permanent amnesia. Okay? It makes more sense when it's thrown up every time he touched my drinks. He made me a drink one time. I ran for the bathroom, threw up like fire, had water blisters in my throat. My nose was both sides was bleeding down. It was horrifying. Yeah. You don't need to go there. It's like, Dave, I can't breathe. I'm poking. You don't need to go. 10, 15 days later when I finally got into the doctor. Yeah. Well, maybe you threw up some of stomach acid. Uh, I talked to Pete's caretaker because they're already healed by that. She's like, that's not. My brother Pete has a caretaker for his grandson. That's not stomach acid. I've thrown up seven days before. Mm -mm. Never had those. <clears throat> that happen. She said it's chemical. She said I did the same thing with insecticide. I wiped my lip and the same thing happened. I was talking to my stepmother. She said that my father, when he was alive, was out spraying insecticide. He had a bad habit of putting his pipe in his mouth. Without washing his hands, same thing happened.
Mm -hmm. He's doing something shitty. He was pissed I got rid of the dare Jesus patches at Walgreens responsibly. Realize that. I had to get rid of him because he already hired a man to kill me and all these people were showing up. And Joshi and his family's on that list. I woke up with black and blue marks. Nobody came talk to me in person and will never call me back after the first time. Hmm? He called, he left a number, and when I called him back four days later, I was crying so hard. I forgot to tell him about the idiot telling Pamer the night before. And I forgot to tell him about the guy in Giant Eagle threatening to knife me. I'd stab you right here and now if it wasn't for that security guard. He walks out around me. A crazy blonde lady had showed up at Huntington Bank in Ravenna. Uh, it's no longer there, but Huntington Bank could have it. I get paid to watch her, lady. Stay out of it. No, I get paid to watch her. Lady, I mean it. Stay out of it. It won't be worth it in the end. The banker's yelling at her. Well, I had stalled because that guy came up behind me and threatened to knife me the day I opened that account. Yeah. And when I take, I, I asked just to cover all bases because I found out they were going to lie that uh, everybody was fine and um, go through even when I watched them six years ago that we were on the phone all day. We were actually video chatting and that nothing bad happened. Just to cover all, and then witnesses that everybody knew Melissa was fine, and that Dave knew that she was, well, the whole, whole world knows she was going to lie, because they sold the, or the whole United States, the ones that bought the login, all know that she was going to lie, because I was going to move out, because of the divorce, and she, that's what John said. <clears throat> he told the kids I was going to move out, and I, we were going to go through the divorce, and she was just going to have them make up something, and probably the church people, too. And so, I just had covered all bases that everybody was fine. They had no right interfering in this. They did it because they were all part of it. And how many other people have they extorted money? Mm-hmm. Killed or pushed to suicide. They're all part of that occult and helping out. Yeah. But yeah, I went through. And I even got like Dixie. I got Jen. And everything I got, police and hire has. That everybody was fine, including Melissa and I even have where we were Facebook friends and Messenger friends. Yeah. And then I told you, let's see, October 2nd, Mercy Medical. A uh, lady uh, is there talking to an officer outside under tape and audio. She's an informant. And uh, let, uh, they're all lying on her. October 5th, Huntington Bank, Cleveland Avenue, 153 p.m. Go about 5-10 minutes before women walk in behind me. I don't want Melissa getting no money out of this. She twitches when she thinks of what they did to her. Mm-hmm. That's okay. They knew they made everything up. Mm-hmm. Okay. The second apartment already, they told those kids, they told the kids they were lying. They told Flora they were lying. She ran them out October 23rd, 2019. Uh, that lady in the apartment building knows that they lied on me too. And 1295 Allen Middle Apartment, while white woman. Already screamed at it right before May 25th. The car and ship got it. It's not funny the church people broke in before, drugged her, and told her to say she's a weirdo molester. That's not funny. Uh huh. And then Wendy's crew, May 25th, behind tape and audio, were talking about in front of Jeff and a bunch of people in town, and the people in town were calling them bastards. Mm hmm. Okay. And Jeff told Jim and Brian that it was too dark for him. And, it, and he had heard it. Okay? Wow. And I taped them with their permission of hearing, knowing of it. That whole building said, we all know they drugged her before. Everybody does. The other night out in the dark, we know that idiot fentanyl there before. Put them all in jail. They want to be in a, a, a crime ring down here? They want to chip people. They want to drug them. They want to rape them. I got raped and tortured trying to help that Asian lady. Back in 19, because the police wouldn't do anything about Dave killing all those people. And she said her husband's dead. None of this is funny. They try to kill me, Dixie, and Joshy. They pamper with their vehicles, making it look random. And they would break in and stab me with needles and then lie to people they had sodium pentothal reports. They don't use sodium pentothal. It's fi spy flick stuff. It, uh, false confession, sodium pentothal. Google. Learn to use it. 
falsely confessed to luring children, falsely confessed to writing ransom notes, falsely confessed to Pearl Harbor, falsely confessed to crimes too. Questioner gets what it wants, right or wrong. You just say yes to everything. Lethal sodium pentothal is used to put animals and humans down. And in anthrax, illegal sodium pentothal. Google that one. FDA prohibits any use in humans. And, uh -huh, not to be brought in the United States. So hard telling what was in those needles. Yeah. Some guy where the tape glitch people were, a black truck pulled up. We don't use sodium pentothal. Oh, we thought they did. Because they made up fake paperwork. They told me, Ravenna, get rid of that fake paperwork. The guy wrote it up, didn't like her. They want to have false documents? That's how extreme these people are. They're insane. Somebody needs to get down here right away.